Hi guys, welcome to Music Theory Grade 2. This is week 3. This week we'll be learning about time signatures, covering simple time signatures. Let's begin. Simple time signatures and time signatures. At this stage, we should be understanding what a time signature is and its function. In grade 2, we will be dealing with the simple time signatures. Remember that in simple time signatures, beats always divide into two or equal notes. We use the terms duple, triple, and quadruple to refer to the number of beats in a bar. The following time signatures will be dealt with in this grade. The 2-4, two, 2 crochet beats in a bar, 3-4 meaning 3 crochet beats in a bar, 4-4 four, four, meaning 4 crochet beats in a bar, and also common time which is the same as 4-4, four, 4, four crochet beats in a bar. The bottom and the top figures of the time signature. Remember that the top figure of the time signature tells us the number of beats and the bottom figure tells us the kind of beats we should find in the bar. It can be crotchets, minims or uh, semi briefs so the bottom figure just tells us the kind of beats we will find in the bar. In some cases uh, the bottom figure may just not be 4 that represents crotchet so 4 represents crotchet but it can be 2 if a minim is the beat or 8 if a quaver is the beat. All this applies in simple time and it can differ in compound time. Simple duple. 2-4 two, is classified as a simple duple. This means 2 crotchet beats in a bar or measure. Let's look at the example. We have a 2-4 meaning 2 crotchets. Our first beat. Second beat. So this is beat 1. This is beat 2. Beat 1 is divided into 2 notes. Quavers, they form one beat. Two quavers, they form half, well, one beat. And beat two is also divided into two notes. You can divide this also into four notes, forming one beat. Let's see. Uh, making them semi quavers, they will give you one beat. Also, here you can divide beat two into four equal notes, making them your semi quavers giving you beat 2. Remember simple time means each beat can be divided into 2, 4, 8 or even more equal notes forming a beat but not 3's. Simple triple. 3-4 three, time is classified as a simple triple time. This means 3 crochet beats in a bar. We ought to find 3 crochet beats in a bar. Let's look at examples. We've got our beat 1, imaginary bar line, beat 2, imaginary bar line, beat 3. Again, our beats have been divided or into two equal notes. You can change this into 4 if you want, like in the previous example, make them semi quivers. Have beat 1 divided into 4 equal notes, giving you 1 beat, to 2 equal notes, giving you 1 beat into two equal quavers giving you one beat or you can make them four like semi quavers giving you one beat remember now uh, these beats can be divided into equal notes simple quadruple four four time is classified as a simple quadruple time signature this means four crochet beats in a bar Take a look at examples. Beat 1. We're expecting to find 4 beats in a bar. We've got our beat 2, imaginary bar line. Beat 3, imaginary bar line and beat 4. And it also can divide. You can divide this into 4 beats or 2 if you want. Make them semi quavers or leave them like this. Simple time signature. This symbol now, the symbol is also used to represent the 4-4 time signature. It's called the common 
time or imperfect time. Notice that the simple time signatures will have 2, 3 and 4 for the top figures. Then we have again the examples that say each beat can be divided in 2, 3 or 4 even more equal notes. This applies in the 3, 4 and also in the 4, 4. The following represents or the following we can find in the simple time. 2, 2 means 2 minims or 2 minim beats in a bar. 2, 4 we are expecting to find 2 crochet beats in a bar. 2, 8 we are expecting to find 2 quavers in a bar. And 3, 2 we are expecting to find 3 minim beats in a bar. And 3, 4 we are expecting to find 3 crochets in a bar. 3, 8 3 quavers in a bar, 4 2, 4 minims in a bar, 4 4, 4 crochets in a bar, 4 8, 4 quavers in a bar. Simple timetable the duple 2 8. Like uh, what I've just explained on the previous page, 2 8 means 2 quavers in duple and in triple, uh, will, it will be 3 8, meaning 3 quavers. In a bar and in quadruple, 4 8 will be 4 quavers in a bar. Then in 2 4, we'll have 2 crochet beats in a bar. 3 4 3 in triple, that will be that that will be 3 crochet beats in a bar and in quadruple, which is the same as common time. We'll have 4 crochet beats in a bar. Then for minims, duple. Uh, it will be a 2-2, two, two, two minim beats in a bar. Then for triple, it will be 3 minim beats in a bar. And for 4-2, it will be 4 minim beats in a bar. There you go. Like we've just explained, 2-4, two, 2 quavers. Uh, I mean 2-8, two, 2 quavers. Then 2-4, two, 2 crochet beats. Then 2-2. Two, two, Two minim beats, two pull. Then for triple, the three eight means three quavers in the bar. Then the three four, three crochets in a bar. Then the three two, three minim beats in a bar. Then for the quadruple, four eight, four quaver beats in a bar. Four four, four crochet beats in a bar, also known as the common time. Look at the common time sign once again. Then the 4-2 means 4 minim beats in a bar.